Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to a Fishing Planet. Alright, we're going to go ahead and try to catch some pike today, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if we're going to get any or not. Uh, on this particular place I've had some luck with uh, pickerel and walleye and some other things. but uh, And perch, trophy perch actually, has been the place that I've got. This has been like the place where I've gotten the most uh, trophy perch, which is pretty cool actually. Um, because they actually give you a, a good... Uh, a good amount of uh, they give you a good amount of XP actually which is kind of strange uh, more than I more than I would expect actually so right now we're just here uh, we're level what are we level 12 uh, slowly making our way to level 15 16 17 uh, that's where all the fun happens apparently uh, well, at least we get crankbaits in this game oh fish on nice it's funny I've been uh, the reason why I've been getting into this game lately is actually because of a uh, gray gamer uh, He's been playing a lot with his, uh, I think it's a, with Graktor, and um, it's been really cool because they're actually doing like a little tournament, and it's really neat to see how they're playing it out. What do we got? Looks like a chain pickerel. I think we have to keep this one. Nope, release, must release fish. 22 XP, not terrible. Let's go ahead and release that. So that's what we, uh, that's what I've been catching a lot of on this particular, uh, this particular map, uh, map. <laughs> lake on this side I should say I don't know why I say it like that but almost always I feel like I uh, I'm on farm sim so I always end up saying map as opposed to lake uh, well so let's see if we can't get another chain prickle uh, what we'll do is I'll try and get one more and if we get one more that'll be great and then I'll switch over to the other side and see if I can get some wildlife because that's where all the XP is here in this particular map lake <laughs> all right straight and slow seems to be working well for me around this area too uh, people suggest keeping the tip of the rod up, and uh, it prevents you from losing bites, essentially. Fish on. Another small fish, it looks like. Oh, no, maybe not. One of the funny things is when the fish starts coming towards you, that's what really throws me off. Cause it's like, okay, why is the fish coming towards me for whatever reason? It makes no sense at all. Oh, this isn't a bad fish, actually. This might be a trophy. Funny enough, with uh, some of the trophies, you actually have to keep them. Because uh, I guess they don't. In, in what happens is they just don't want them. Uh, I guess so. That's the reason why they're like take the fish. Doesn't make any sense. All right, what do we got? Might be a pike. Although I don't think we can keep. Uh, oh, nice. Let's see if we can't get it in. What, what do we got? Pickerel. Survey says trophy chain pickerel. So I must release this fish. It's a nice fish. One point four kg. That's what we're kind of looking for. Um, basically, I, I, basically, what I've been trying to do lately in this game is basically just level up uh, because it is a bit of a slow, uh, slow pace towards uh, what you really want to get in the end, which is like you know, the higher levels. Uh, you can always buy a, a pack that gives you double XP, but that requires paying money for uh, for it, and I just didn't do it in the end. But I know you can. It's not terribly expensive, depending on. Um, how much you play I guess but uh, lately I've been playing this game a lot but when it comes to free games if you can do it without being free or without if you can do it when it's free that's what I generally do as opposed to paying um, like mobile games are really bad for that actually if you ever play look at the mobile games though it's like you can play it for free but then you can you can buy this crystal that gives you an extra XYZ sort of thing and it's always like that all right looks like there's no fish there that time let's go ahead and reel that in all right, let's go ahead and move to the other spot. See if we can't uh, see if we can't get some walleye. It's funny if you really want to know where all the fish are. It's now it's really easy uh, to find where the fish are in this game. It used to be a lot more difficult because it used to be a situation where uh, you didn't know where to cast or anything, and you just kind of had to figure it out for yourself. Uh, but now it's like you can basically find the fish. Just go on, like, go onto the guides on Steam and just look up, you know, the fish you're looking for, and then you can basically find anything now. It's crazy. All right, getting snagged, unsnagged, fish on, nice. Ooh, this is a good one too. Apparently, the gold spoon's working for me today, which is good. This might be a, might be a walleye, it might be a, a pike. Didn't see it when it jumped there. This game, this game would kind of be actually interesting. Um, I don't know. Back in the day, there used to be a video game. You could have a, like a, what is we got? 
Looks like a pickerel. Oh no, yeah. Uh, there should be a game where you have like a fishing rod separately. Chain pickerel, must release fish. All right. So I only have the basic license here, so a lot of these things I can't actually keep, so that's the reason why I have to release them. And of course, if you're if you're like me and you have it all weird set up with uh, meters and grams and kilograms and Celsius, uh, you're probably like, I don't know how far out he's fishing right now. But um, generally speaking, if you're going for a walleye on this particular map, the lake, uh, what works best is if you fish towards that tree right there, that little yellow tree off in the distance, just to the left of that big tree, fish on. Um, that generally seems to be the uh, the best place for it. And uh, for walleye, the best I've had the best luck with a medium yellow spoon, personally. But uh, as you can see today, I'm having a little bit of luck with the gold casting spoon, which is good. Although, as far as I understand, the gold casting spoon seems to be a bit better for like pike and pickerel on this map. I have caught some other fish with it, but uh, you can actually catch trophy uh, with this size. I think you can catch trophy uh, perch too, I think. This is a good fish. Maybe it's a trophy even. I have actually caught one trophy walleye on this map, which is pretty awesome. All right, what do we got? I'll show you my setup in a second here um, for this. If I were going for, wa for walleye, I really don't think you need a heavy rod. There we go. Ooh. Bit of a fighter here. Nice. What do we got? I think it's, watch it. Well, I bet you it's going to be a, a pike. What is it? Oh, no, it's not a pike. What do we got? I actually think it is. Survey says Northern Pike. Nice. Must release the fish. That's okay. I don't mind releasing the fish because I'm getting XP for it. But the problem I've run into is uh, uh, I don't mind the leveling side of things. But what happens is uh, you get in a situation where it uh, you can catch, uh, you may be catching fish, but you can't keep them. So the money comes from keeping the fish, which I think is always a little odd. So Northern Pike. Yeah, usually the Northern, I'd swear in Joe because I'm catching Northern Pike uh, in this scenario. But uh no, that's not so bad. I haven't caught any trophy northern pike on this map yet, so. Lift and drop seems to be the my uh, the best method I've found for walleye. And uh, I can always switch to the other lure, but I find this is on a sunny day, so. I always find on sunny days it's never as successful as uh, snag. As successful as rainy days. For whatever reason. That's just me, though. Alright, let's see if we can't get at least one more. Yeah, but if you if I should I'll put a link in the I'll put a link for, uh, a little card to go to Great Gamers channel cuz he's doing something pretty cool with a uh, with Graktor like I was saying about uh, they're doing like a fishing tournament. It's really neat to see how they have it uh, set up. But basically the way they worked the way they worked it is um, they're doing like a five bag limit and uh, like the best five fish basically and they what did they do last time bluegills I think it was last time. It was pretty it's pretty awesome to see how they have it set up. I think it's really uh that's fun to watch because they're like they're competing against each other, which is what this game doesn't have quite yet, like a, a built-in com competition system. But uh, they have kind of made their own competition in the game, so I think it's really neat. Of course, the further you can cast, the more likely you are to catch a walleye. So, like out in that distance, I uh, that seems to be the best place for a walleye. Out over there because generally in real life walleye tend to like a uh, deeper water although in the fall they come to the shallows so so I've been told well they didn't catch any walleye this year in real life but uh, I was told they come to the shallows same with pike and musky I believe do the same thing I haven't caught any musky in this game I think they have musky in it though they recently added musky as far as I can remember at least snag boo urns Come on, one more fish. So of course, the funny thing about this game is that uh, you can have like a good stint like I just had there and then not catch anything for like a while. They did say early evening, I think. Uh, I'll have to double check that in a second. And of course you can vary up your, in real life what you really should do is vary up your uh, cat, your reeling in. So like straight and slow, you know, lift drop, 
you know, twitching, all that jazz. You should like mix it up between the two and basically find out what the fish will want. Uh, that's how you do it in real life, at least. So, yep, there we go. All right, let's see what they suggested. Uh, afternoon and early evening. I guess this is early evening. Anyways, folks, we'll leave it there for the today, folks. This has been Fishing Planet, a free game on Steam. And if you want to play it, you can play it alongside me. Doesn't It's free to play, basically, so you don't have to pay any money for it. You can pay money to uh, do a couple things, but on the whole, it is free. So my name is Ian Robson. This has been Fishing Planet. And if you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later.